Hi guys, this is David Jennings here from metaformula.com. Wanted to make a short video for you to show you how to download and install uh, TradeSim. The first thing I want you to do is if you just head over to compuvision.com.au, that's the makers of TradeSim, and we're just going to go through to the download page, and we're obviously looking to uh, install TradeSim, so I'll click that TradeSim download. Next thing, I'll scroll down a little bit further. We're looking for the TradeSim final release setup file and what we need to do is save this to our computer and depending on what version of Windows or what Explorer that you're using your web browser, I'm using Mozilla here but you might be using Internet Explorer and it may vary slightly but I'm just going to right click and what I'm looking to do is save uh, this link as. Now I think the wording might be a little bit different in Internet Explorer but effectively what we're looking to do is save this file and I'm wanting to put it on the desktop so I'll just hit the desktop here you can see there's the actual trade sim file that we'll be saving so I'll just hit save and it'll start to download you can see it's about a 20 meg file so depending on the speed of your internet will determine how quickly it is going to download let's just let it download now okay once the files downloaded you can see here we've got our setup trade sim file which is an exe file now I'm going to close this out because some browsers don't have this little pop-up window and I'm just going to take you to the desktop and you can see where the file saved here so there's our little icon there and we know that's what we're trying to run so we'll just double click on that and I'll put this up here and there's just a little um, thing we need to click by here and I'll scroll this down it tells us to make sure that we're not running Metastock at the same time because it may cause issues so I'll just hit yes now I always find it easier to go for the no questions asked installation just uh, that way it'll install to all the default directories and you don't have to worry about anything you also have to just uh, accept and hit yes I do agree to the uh, CompuVision um, uh, what do they call this terms of service so I'll just hit yes and we'll just go through thanks for installing it was quite a quick install first thing that you'll see here is it opens up a directory here with all of our shortcuts to the different areas and files within the trade sim software so I'm going to close this out here because it'll also install a couple of icons on my desktop once that's installed I'm going to go ahead and just delete our little installation file here because I don't need that anymore and the two things that we're keeping obviously is the shortcut to the trade sim software and also the shortcut to the users manual so I'm just going to open up trade sim and it is quite self-explanatory but I'll step you through it just the same if we scroll down here we just need to register the software now I'm gonna hit yes and you can see here for registration it does step you through you can see step one step two step three and step four now step one is just going ahead and purchasing a license and uh, once you've purchased it you'll just go through uh, whoever your reseller is or wherever you are buying the trade sim software from and uh, step two that you need to do is we just need to uh, submit some of our details through to CompuVision to make sure that we get registration code to unlock the software. So I'm going to click here to submit my registration details. I'll just write in my name here. Uh, it's important uh, not to have any middle names or initials or anything like that. And just write your first and last name. I'm going to write my uh, company here. Now the purchase order. We'll just enter that in. Now your email address, I'm going to put it as none at none, but obviously you're going to put in your email here. Once you're right to go, uh, it's just a matter of sitting, uh, hitting submit details. Now most people are going to have Outlook all connected up and uh, it will pre-populate everything so you can send it through Outlook and if you're having troubles then you use the manual details or manual submit details but I'm going to hit OK here just so you can see what happens and you can see just here it pre-populates the email that we're going to be sending to mentions that it's a trade sim license and then it's just pretty much copied and pasted the information uh, that we've entered in and also just some information about your computer as well and then you just hit send and it's away now I'm just going to close that out because I also wanted to show you if you're having trouble um, you'd hit the manual submit details when you do that it automatically copies that information to the clipboard you'd go over to your uh, email client uh, I'm just going to use Hotmail as an example here and I'll just paste that information in here and the next thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to copy the email address that we're going to be sending that to so I'll just uh, select that I'm going to press control 
C or you could just right click and copy however you find easiest. I'll just pop back up to our email client here. Uh, we paste that in and we'll just call it trade sim registration. Now this may not apply to you because obviously if you've got everything set up it's going to get straight, sent straight through your Outlook anyway. You hit send. Now once uh, that goes through, give it uh, 24 to 48 hours, uh, business hours that is, um, and you should get an email back from CompuVision that uh, will have your registration details. Now I'll just scroll down here and what we're looking for here, and it's, it's all given to you step by step, but uh, I'll just show you what needs to be done. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the um, code just here and I'll copy that to the clipboard. Now I'll just, uh, I've copied that to the clipboard, I'll copy all of that code. Now before uh, anyone goes out there and tries to replicate this, uh, the ID that uh, is given to you is unique for each computer, so uh, you'll obviously need to grab the trade sim code to do that. And I'm just going to show you here, um, once you visit the page, we go, we're at the final stage here, step four. So I'm just going to right click and paste that code into the screen here. Now, one thing I did want to mention, just because uh, sometimes uh, I've seen people have issues where if they put some extra spaces at the end or something like that, uh, that can cause uh, an error message sometimes to pop up. It does depend on the version of Trade Sim that you're using. It didn't seem to matter this time, but uh, I have seen that in the past. And then that's it. It's pretty much just hitting a, a OK. And uh, Trade Sim's going to load up there. Uh, and it did mention that it's corrupt. So it, it will have to do with that thing I was talking about with those extra spaces. So I'm going to copy that in and it should be right the second time around. There we go. So as I said, it's just important to make sure you don't have any of those spaces in there. I'm going to just click to not show this again. Again, just another license agreement. Uh, once you hit at this page, depending on whether or not if you're new to Trade Sim or not, if you're new to Trade Sim, I highly recommend you work your way through the Quick Start tutorial. That's going to show you how to get the most out of Trade Sim and get up and running quickest. So if you start there, it's not like the Metastock manual. This one's actually quite helpful. But I'm going to hit continue past that, and you can see. Uh, Trade Sims now installed and we've got a full working copy. Now it's time to jump in there and start testing some systems.